Hi folks, my name is Neil. What I'm going to talk to you about is a device that I built for the milling machine which is very very handy for putting flat spanner flats, um, squares and hex on the end of a piece of bar. Uh, this started off uh, several months ago when I uh, bought a set of uh, uh, ER collets from, from China for a very reasonable price. I think 18 collets um, cost me something like uh, 30 New Zealand dollars, <coughs> uh, which at the moment is about uh, 20 uh, American dollars. And uh, these collets range from 1 millimeter through to 15 millimeters. I also uh, purchased a um, number 3 um, uh, Morse tape coll uh, collet holder um, and a nut. Um, the, uh, the number 3 um, taper fits my milling machine uh, here and also uh, also the lathe. But anyway, the, uh, the purpose of uh, this video is a device for putting the flats on, putting fl spanner flats um, on the end of a piece of shaft. And I don't claim any originality in this idea. I saw this uh, elsewhere um, on, uh, on YouTube and uh, decided to, uh, to build one. So what it is is a uh, a piece of um, a piece of square. Actually, this started off as a piece of round bar, uh, which I milled uh, uh, milled into square on the mill uh, using a fly cutter. Uh, thre threaded the end to take uh, to take the nut, and bored a um, an eight degree taper in the end for um, for the uh, for the collets. So uh, what uh, we'll do now is uh, set this up in the milling machine and um, and show you uh, the operation uh, milling some flats on a piece of uh, on a piece of eight mil bar. Okay, so what we'll do now is uh, mill some flats on this uh, piece of uh, eight mil shaft. So we'll insert the shaft into the collet. Now it just so happens that conveniently uh, the, the nut protrudes a little bit past the edge of the flat so I can actually back the nut up against the vise as I stop. So, so we'll uh, tighten the vise and tighten the collet. Now I know that the, um, <coughs> that the height of the cutter uh, is one millimetre from the, uh, the, the top of the shaft from the uh, from the previous um, operation, so we'll mill four flats onto uh, onto this piece of shaft. against the edge of the nut for the stop. Job's done. Just 
take it out of the uh, out of the collop. So there's the uh, the finished job, and four equal flats. Four um, four equal flats, and you'll notice that the uh, uh, that I didn't go quite down to full depth so we've got this quite pleasing uh, rounded corner on uh, on each of the uh, on each of the flats and uh, I quite like that okay so that's uh, that's the operation of um, of the square unit in a nutshell and the next project is to build a hex version of the same thing <clears throat> so this is a piece of, uh, of hex bar that I've got uh, which I intend to um, to copy the square one so uh, I've already bored this um, uh, end for end sorry I tell a lie I've already drilled this um, piece of bar end for end so the next step is to uh, to bore it out to the uh, diameter of the uh, of the small end of the collet and uh, then uh, thread this end of the uh, of the bar um, bore uh, an 8mm uh, taper in the end and uh, and we'll end up with a hex version of the square one. <clears throat> um, the function of the hex version is uh, to be able to put hex ends on uh, on a bolt, um, a, a fabricated bolt, so uh, quite, quite often um, one needs to make a, a special bolt of, of some length or diameter uh, that you can't buy off the shelf and uh, it's nice to be able, it, it will be nice to be able to, uh, to put a hex end on it rather than uh, turn it into a slotted screw so uh, this, this will allow me to, to make the bolt, it will also allow me to thread it um, because the, uh, the collets will hold the threaded portion very nicely and firmly without damaging the thread and then I'll be able to mill uh, the hex end on, on my bolt of uh, whatever size I choose to make it so in the next video we will set up this in the lathe uh, and being a piece of hex bar it will fit in the three jaw quite nicely and, um, and do the operations on that so that will be the next video. Now I have to admit this is the first time I've ever put a video on YouTube so I'm now going to have to uh, uh, go away and decide how to uh, edit these clips, uh, attach them together, <coughs> add the um, the text and some subtitles etc and uh, post it on YouTube so I apologize for the first attempt but one's got to start somewhere uh, in case anybody uh, is curious this is a piece of lead that I use for uh, tapping um, uh, materials down inside the chuck all right so the next video coming up Okay, so what I've got here is a, uh, a piece of uh, nominally 12mm high tensile uh, steel. In fact, it's a, it's an old, um, it's a bolt in actual fact, and it is pretty uh, tough stuff. So what I want to do is put a um, put a spanner flat on the end to fit a 10mm spanner. Now I happen to know that the through just measuring it a minute ago that the bolt is uh, just a whisker under uh, under 12. So if I if I take off um, one mil on the, either side, then I'll have right. So I've just got a very small bit of mark there. So I'll do this in one pass. And I'll set the mill at one millimeter.
actually the flat needs deburring but uh, that's a pretty good fit in fact there's a mere smallest amount of shake there so that's pretty good quite happy with that and uh, all, of, all of two minutes work thank you for watching